Like a hundred percent. Not a hundred percent. Holy crap, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Plus 50% area. Holy smokes. Um. Yeah, we have the golden Noki, so I want to go into the boss fight with 99 gold. That was my first time ever getting a legendary, uh... Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We are playing at Takor once again. Um, it's been a little bit since we played him, um, but we're doing, we're going around the wheel. We are expert mode once again. Um, as like I said, all of these are pretty much going to be expert mode runs. So yeah, we'll see how we'll see how well this goes. It shouldn't be too bad, um, but we'll see. We will see. Um, we're going to try and pick up as much gold as possible, because of course gold uh, correlates to health here. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, picking that up's not going to do jack for us. Um, I'll grab you. Let's grab the attack speed and then try and run somewheres. This is Midgard, so I'm not really too worried about it. But we do have to worry about the gold amount, so we gotta be careful on that. Increased damage, lower attack speed, that's that's okay. Um I'll take this. But I really want to get down to the gold potion, I think, more than anything. Uh collect gold, it'll explode. Damage plus your current gold value. Okay. Create. I think I like the pools of fire one when I did it the last time. Uh, I'll grab you. I'll definitely grab you. Then we'll throw more into this. And having the ultimate right off the bat is huge because then we can just press it and just get as many upgrades as we can. Um, like experience, I'll definitely take that. Gotta remember if we get hit, we're gonna end up losing. Um, gold and of course HP on top of that so get all this going okay I really want to get over and get that five gold but I don't think that's gonna happen at the moment um you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna circle back around we'll grab that uh, we'll grab all that here in a second let's actually run up and grab um, the Ascension Crystal, that'll help us with hopefully the wave clear a little bit. Since we're kind of struggling just, just a little bit right now. But getting these will definitely help. Duration, penetration, projectiles. I'll definitely take more projectiles. For sure. And of course getting more gold will help on top of all that as well. I don't know how we just squeezed through there, but we just did. Um, Ascension Crystal's here. Okay. And let's come here. Um. Yeah. It's reduced, baby. Um. Definitely max out this. Um. I mean, I think I'm gonna go with this one instead area should be should be okay there area is good because it makes the coins get bigger uh let's run down over this way maybe unless we get hit here yeah burn damage i mean that's not gonna help a whole lot yeah i'm not gonna be able to get in there unfortunately right now we need more gold we got hit and we lost a ton Oh, we only have three points right now. Yeah, like, look how weak our damage is right now. This is not good. Need more gold, man. Oh, we can't get hit. If we get hit, we're dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, we did have the revive, which is huge. How much gold did that 
45 gold is started us up at. Now we're already down to 40. It's just we can't get hit. And with Takor, it's tough. Because we don't have the... Oh, all this will help. Maybe we just needed to die there, because we got a ton of XP now, which will help out quite a bit. Okay. That's good. We just can't die when we fight uh, the boss. Okay, we'll come back up here now. Get this. Uh, now that we have that, we're not taking that. Uh, I'm going to max out damage. I went this one the last time. Maybe I'll try uh, attack speed in area. I'll juice up this. Ooh, uh, okay. I was going to juice up a uh, cooldown as well, but that's okay. We're doing, we're doing all right without that at the moment. Definitely the more gold you get at the beginning helps out with Takor because... Um, it just increases his, his damage and just increases all the stuff he gets with his, um, ability. The gold ability. So, all that helps out quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna head back up to this guy. There's still a lot that we need to pick up. So. Oh, dang. Ten. There's ten gold right there. Okay. Old potion as well. What do we got? Duration, attack speed. I'm going to go attack speed. This penetration already seems pretty good. Pickup radius is huge. Um, then I'm going to make my way down toward this altar, I guess. Since we were getting a little swarmed before. And this, running Takor is also where, like, maxing out or getting as much into the gold tree um, as possible will help out a lot. That's where I think like you can respec and stuff and uh, would help a lot with Takor, but we're just going for everything right now. Nothing really specific in the tree, so we are up to 80 gold, which is good. And we got that. We're going to make our way down toward the rest of the gold. Uh, it looks like we have five down there. I don't know how much we're going to necessarily spend. Uh, we'll see though. Poison, I mean, don't really need that. We'll pop that. Uh, blue heart, eh, it's not going to do us any good. So we need the gold. Take this. There's five there. And then there's another five down here, along with the gold potion. That'll probably boost us up to, like, what, 96, 97, somewhere in there. So that'll be pretty huge. Grab this, I guess. Pop you. Keep on running. Get our way down here. Okay. Shoot, this might even get us up to 99, maybe. Who knows? Area is not super big on the coins, but I love juicing it up, so we might juice up area on uh, coinage and really make um really make something happen here. Really make something happen here. We'll see though. So attack speed projectiles area. We're gonna go area. Make that bad boy bigger. Pop you. Looks like we got more gold. We're at 98 gold. That's pretty good. Uh, we could run down here and pick up this potion, but it'll cap us out <clears throat> for gold. So, why the heck not? Might as well. Oh, we'll just pick that one up there. Cool. Now we're capped out. This is where having that uh, 250 would be pretty useful. So, that's alright. Not the end of the world. We're looking pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, we can't pick you up. So we'll grab you. Um, <clears throat> that stuff's not going to matter. Effect prob's not going to matter. I'll take movement speed. Uh, I'll roll. Um, ooh, what is that? Fire lasers in random directions. I don't believe we've ever taken this, so I'll take that for right now. I'll take both of these. I'll roll. I gotta remember. I gotta keep an eye on my health up there. I'll take this. <clears throat> this. And this. And now I think I'm going to just back out and keep what I got for right now. Uh, we do have 31, so let's spend all these points real quick. So I'll do this. <coughs> upgrade you. I'll upgrade this. I'll upgrade this. Then I'll throw this here, and yeah, we are good to go. And I'll keep the Orglo's staff or whatever because, like, we're gonna we're gonna need it. I mean, it's not super great, 
But like we're gonna need it because right now all we have is coins, and um, although the coins are good, but like once we start taking hits and we drop down in HP, like it's not gonna be that good anymore because we're just gonna end up losing a lot of uh, our damage, the raining coins, the area of the coin, and just all that jazz. So more the merrier, <coughs> more the merrier right now. So I got you. I mean, we'll probably cap out at 99 gold again. That's at least the plan. So we'll see, though. Come up here. We'll spend 15 more on uh, this shrine, depending on what it is. Hopefully it's something good. I'm assuming it will be, but you never know. And it's the Golden Noki. So yes, that is probably one of the best items, especially on Takor, since we're collecting all the flipping gold, man. All of the gold, so that's like perfect. Mead, useless. Since we can't get any hearts. So I may sacrifice this to empty red heart containers. Yep, useless. Useless. Um, burn damage, <clears throat> probably useless as well. We might convert that down the road. We'll see though. At the moment, we don't necessarily need to, but we probably will. Because um, we're going to pick glitch up here. For sure um just to have another projectile being thrown because right now we just have orglo's uh staff and then we just have uh the coins as well so we'll take it we'll take what we can get more the merrier baby more the merrier okay pop you too easy, man. We're up to 64 gold. There's lots of gold floating around. There is a gold ring up there I'll probably end up picking up just to pick up. Because there's a lot of kind of just one-off gold sitting around. So I'll pop you real quick. Run up here. 350 kills for move speed. Yeah, I'll take that. That's That'll be pretty huge. Already back up to 74 gold. Kind of crazy. Our damage is insane because of the golden Noki. So, that's huge. I mean, the area on the coins aren't super big yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. The glitches are pretty big already, and we started off with three, which is, I, 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 I'd like to think that's pretty good. So, I'd say we're definitely getting there. That's for sure, that's for sure. Okay. And with the coins on the ground, it's definitely a lot easier to see um, when the fire's around them. Um, I mean, we're getting a lot of gold drops. I'm going to run down to the mine first. Just to see what we got going on down there. Probably not much. Oh, but we didn't get to pick it up the last time. So we're probably close to like, what, 8 or 10? Um... Grab you real quick. There's going to be tons of XP on the ground, so I'm not really too worried about all of that. Uh, we'll max you out. I'm totally not going to go this. I mean, bottomless pockets is nice, but since they disappear in 2.75 seconds, it's, it's super hard. Like, 2.75 seconds is very quick. Very, very quick. So, it'll be hard to get that. Give us something good. Uh, I'll go area. I wonder how thick we can make these lasers. Okay. Oh my gosh. Two experience rings there? That is insane. What the heck? I don't think I've ever seen two drop. Let alone one is already pretty rare, but seeing two drop is kind of crazy. Alright. That's kind of gnarly. So I guess we could use this one right before the boss, and then we'll just pick up that other one. Then we don't have to worry about buying one. <coughs> Which will always be pretty good. Pop you. Okay. Use that. I mean, we're looking pretty good right now. I'm not really too worried about what we got going on. Seedlings are definitely going to be a little low for this run, I feel like. But, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. It's not not the end of the world. 
Um, a cool area for the staff. I want I want these to be thick lasers, man. Thick boys. Make them thick. All right, let's see. Area, yeah. Yeah. Lots of gold on the ground. Holy smokes, man. This is where having that 250 would be super useful. On Takor, for sure. Because we got, what, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And a bunch of freaking experience rings. Holy smokes, dude. So we got probably about 20 gold sitting down on the ground. I'd like to... It looks like. All right. Okay, well, we just wiped out all of those bosses. Fairly easy. Okay, it looks like it gave us the uh, swords as well. So luckily we didn't buy those. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking solid right now. I'm not really too worried about what we got going on. We got tons of gold. I mean, we did use up our... Um, we did use up our revive, which is a little bit of a bummer, but hey, that's okay. Oh, we got another one, electric rune, it looks like. Okay, we got 20 points. Let's dump some into here. Uh, let's do this one first. We'll, now we'll do, start doing this one. Uh, and then we'll start doing this one. Eh, let's do this one instead. Um, I will... Yeah, that doesn't give us anything other than gold. Holy crap, look how fast those guys are going now. So, I'll pop this, and then I'll pick this one up. Mainly because, um... We'll probably end up picking up a quite a bit of XP from the boss here. Okay. Alright, looking good, looking good, looking good. And he's dead. Too easy, dude. Too flippin' easy, man. Alright, and sweet. We got Baroque's Bazooka. I'm gonna take that because we've never taken it before. 95. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take projectile speed. Maybe a little bit of movement speed. Uh, I'll roll. Definitely take both of these. Could take that, but eh. I'll take this. 64. Oh, I'll definitely take that. 79. Okay, we're looking good. Um, ooh. This would boost our damage up from 159 to like 359. That's actually perfect for Talkor, because like, yeah, we could use it to upgrade this stuff. Like, we've never done this before. Um, can't use one on this. I don't think we've used that one yet. Definitely haven't used that. And uh, this is new, so we haven't used that either. But now we don't have to. Um, but I will go projectile speed. I'll roll once more. Yeah, I'll take crit. Ooh, what are you? Burned enemies. I believe I've already taken that. All right, let's head out with... You know what? Let's roll once more. Cooldown, I'll take... Yeah, 20 gold I think is good. Should be able to survive this going out here, especially with our increased damage, which is insane. Okay, well, that was quick. And easy. Damage summons projectiles. I'll take another projectile on Orlo's staff. Why not? I'll definitely take this. We're going to get tons of gold popping out now so that's why i went down to 20 because we're already up to 32 two more projectiles i'll take that we got two already two pieces of gold here so that's what i mean like we're gonna we're gonna get the gold back fairly quickly here uh, i'll grab you just gotta remember like we can't get hit when we fight the boss because like well we don't have our revive anymore and that's just one thing we just can't manage to happen, is getting hit. Um, so I'm probably not going to buy anything uh, when I go to the shop after this. But we do have the Golden Noki, so I got to keep in mind, like, if we can get go into fighting the boss with um, 100%... Um, 
Like a hundred percent. No, a hundred percent. Holy crap, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Plus 50% area. Holy smokes. Um. Yeah, we have the golden Noki, so I want to go into the boss fight with 99 gold. That was my first time ever getting a legendary uh, chest drop. That was actually insane. Holy smokes. That's actually crazy. I've never seen one of those before. Okay, yep, we'll use you. We got that. Fire and ice, it's it's useless for us, but I'll take it because like, well it's it's it was free. Like we didn't have to pay for anything. Holy gold, we got a ton of gold on the map. Um I guess I'll try and pick as much of it up as we can. What I really need is a gold ring right now. That's what I really need. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Give us something good. Penetration. We'll take penetration. Fine. Why not? Should be getting close to max gold here soon. With everything that's dropping. Like, holy shnikes, dude. Oh, let's go cool down come up here I'll pick this gold up I'll come back down here I'll pick this gold up come down here pick up 10 gold baby pick up another gold here looks like we got uh, effect prob not really gonna do too much I think effect prob will be nice for turning uh, these ads into like uh, the golden statues and stuff but other than that I don't think it'll be super useful holy gold though my goodness Uh, let's do another projectile. I'll take more lasers. I think we're doing 400 damage from something there. Um, we're almost to the boss. Okay, we're 99 gold. Sweet. Uh, I do want to max this out. Like this, I feel like, would be really good. Uh, I'll max this out. As well. I'll max this out now. Or I'll at least work toward it. I'll probably be able to max it out though. Because there's a lot of XP on the ground. Like we're wiping a lot of stuff out right now. 270 seedlings, a little little on the low end, but I mean That's alright. We're focusing pretty hard on gold this run anyway, so not the end of the world. Right now I'm just trying to get as many kills as we can to get as much XP. As possible. Eh? Okay, we'll we'll pick this up. Hopefully, it's something decent. Uh, I'll take more area. Our coins are getting there. Coins are getting pretty good. Looking good so far, though. I don't think. I, I think we'll be able to kill the boss fairly quickly. I at least hope. With uh, oh crap, we're at 102 gold. How the heck did we get to 102 gold? We don't have bottomless. Uh, Bottomless gold or whatever. You know, oh, I was thinking maybe we should just take bottomless bag right now and just run around and pick up all the gold, but clearly it's too late. Um, let's go damage. That's a that's like 50, 50, 50 damage increase. Um, I'll take this and this. Take you, take you. Um, I'll roll once. Summon, don't need damage, I'll take. Pick you up. I'll run over here, I'll pick you up. 89, that's good enough. <clears throat> not not 99, but that's, I'd say that's pretty dang good. Lord Ragnar, I'm not too, too worried about. Should be able to max this out. Sweet, we got everything maxed. <clears throat> okay. I should be able to shred him pretty dang quickly. I mean, he does have his... Yeah, like, he already popped his first shield. Which is kind of gnarly. 
Like, we, we, sh our coins, like, shredded the crap out of him, which is good. The only bummer is that, like, he has a shield, so, like, you have to wait on a shield to drop to kill him. So, like, it delays this fight, which is a little bit of a bummer, but, I mean, we're killing him pretty quickly to where, like, we already have, like, we already have his second shield, so, like, by the time this drops, like, we're gonna kill him almost instantaneous. Okay, and we should get it here in a second, and he's dead. Too easy. Too flippin' easy. But yeah, that's, uh, once again, Taco on Expert Mode in Midgard. Pretty good. We did level up over there for the Mastery, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all ended up enjoying that. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You guys can also tap that little bell notification to get notified when a new video goes live, as I do upload every single day, and you guys don't want to miss out. But uh, let's uh, throw this into one of these before we go. When you lose or spend gold, you throw coins in all directions, depending on the spent amount. This will only happen when you own more than 20 gold. When you earn gold, you will throw coins in all directions, depending on the amount obtained. This will only happen when you own more than 35 gold. When you convert an enemy into a golden statue, there's a 25% chance of the enemy throwing a gold coin. This will only happen when you own more than 50 gold. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one for right now, and then this one probably next. But yeah, next run we'll run Amaranth, you guys know what that's all about. So make sure you guys tap that like button down below once again. And uh, this has been Nordic Ashes, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!